What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. Uh, so if you remember in the last episode, uh, we did a harvest, and uh, we bailed up all the straw. Um, and I said in this episode that I was going to uh, pick it all up uh, and get it delivered to where it needs to go. Um, well, technically, I bailed one field. I did the rest off screen. Um, just because, you know, it, it's bailing, and, and you guys have probably all seen it a bunch of times. And uh, there was quite a few more bales than I expected. Um, we actually ended up with, if I go into statistics here and take a look, um, we ended up with 37 bales, which is quite a bit, um, quite a bit more than I expected. So I was kind of going back and forth about whether or not I wanted to try to load them on a trailer uh, or just, you know, rent the auto stacker and pick them up that way. To be honest, I think I'm going to use the auto stacker. I, I probably will try to load them on a trailer at some point. Um, but for right now, I think just because I want to get them where they need to go, I think it'll be easiest to get the auto stacker and uh, do it that way. So, uh, but I do need to buy one thing. Uh, let me just get this running. And uh, so while we're in the shop, so we'll go ahead and buy uh, our thing first. Uh, 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 front loaders, and go down here to, uh, there it is, the uh, Robert Bale forks, uh, which are awesome. Uh, these are my absolute favorite things. So, uh, it's, you know, for bale handling, they work just perfect. So, um, they make bale stacking so much easier, you know, for me anyway. Um, I won't be doing a whole lot of bale stacking, I don't think. I'll probably end up with quite a few of them in the mix station. Uh, and quite a few in the in you know all the animal uh, areas, but um, let's see. But I may have to do a little bit of stacking, and those things will make it a lot easier. So, okay, uh, we go into bailing technology, and we can rent this. Oh, this costs one hundred and seven dollars an hour. I'm going to rent it for two hours. I shouldn't need it for that long, but I'm going to do it anyway just to be safe. Okay, and we can get out of that now, and get those both reset and pick them up and get on with it. Whoops, going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. And uh, get on with picking up these bales. So, I want to thank everybody for the uh, for the suggestions and the tips and, and everything else that you guys have been leaving. Um, you know, as I say, you know, a lot, uh, you know, I need that stuff. Uh, you know, I, I don't know everything, um, you know, and I, I don't know, you know, I don't know everything about this map, certainly. So I want to thank everybody, uh, especially Tony Lurie, who, uh, you know, told me about, um, you know, about the growth uh, and all that, um, you know, and, and everybody else who mentioned about the alfalfa not being grown and, you know, um, and a couple of comments that I got about, uh, you know, not being able to mow the alfalfa. Uh, that turns out to be the case. Um, Apparently, uh, you would have to install a windrow uh, into this for it to be able to be mowed. Uh, this, in my version of this map, doesn't have one. Um, as I've said before, I'm not the I'm not the expert on, on all that sort of stuff. So you know, it was worth a try. Um, so the alfalfa will just sit there now, I guess, until I get around to buying those fields, uh, and then we can just turn it in. So and use it for what it was intended to be used for. So um, I did hear that uh, that uh, Jim from Predatory Gaming. Uh, chaffed it with the Crone Big X, um, and I, I believe he has the same version of the map I do. Uh, I don't know that for certain, but he, but I think he does. So that may be an option. Um, you know, at some point maybe we can uh, we can either rent a, uh, there we go, rent a um, Crone and you know and just do a whole bunch of chaff. Uh, but I think I want to buy the fields first anyway. So okay, so go ahead and get hooked up to this thing now start picking up some bills so now uh let's see i should probably carry this thing the way it's designed the way that you're supposed to carry it oh something like uh that i think can i see out of that yes i can okay so i'll go pick up some bales uh br probably bring the bales to uh the dairy cows first i guess the first trip will go down to the dairy cows just makes sense i think because we're closest and then we'll bring a couple of loads down to the uh, mix station and then uh, whatever's left we'll bring around to all the uh, various animals uh, and then you know that'll be one more thing that the animals have uh, I don't know how long this is all going to take if there's any time left uh, at the end of all that I will uh, 
see about maybe starting to get these fields uh, fertilized and cultivated, uh, cultivated, and then so we can get them replanted. Um, although actually, I think I think because I have the OEB modified uh, cedar, I think I only need to uh, fertilize, and then I should be able to direct drill. I'm not 100% certain about that, but I think that's how it will work. So we'll find out. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick up some bales. Yeah, you know, like I said, I went round and round about whether or not I wanted to, um, you know, maybe try to pick these up with a trailer. Uh, you know, and I think, uh, I suppose I should just stop being scared of, of, you know, bale stacking and picking up things on a trailer. Um, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that I, I, I don't do it because I'm not good at it. And I don't get better at it because I don't do it. So, you know, uh, I think probably at some point I'm definitely going to spend the time to, um, you know, stack some bales on a trailer and, and, and just learn how to do it because it's a neat thing, you know. I think I rely some, sometimes too much on this automated stuff, uh, and it makes me, you know, not as good at things as I'd like to be, so. Oops, 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 oops. Didn't quite wait for that to, uh, there we go. Didn't quite wait for it to finish, uh, resetting before I drove into that bale. So. And that is neat. Okay. And we are full. So off to the dairy farm we go. Kind of wish this field had more than one exit, but okay. You know, I guess, uh, I guess we can live with it. Oh. It's probably going to be quite a few trips uh, back and forth. Uh, between the, you know, between the various places that we go. I don't know if I'm going to, uh, if I'm going to actually, you know, show every single trip. Uh, you know, I might. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that'd be boring for you guys or not, but. Ah, now I did it again. <laughs> You'd think with the amount of times I've been around this map already that I'd probably figure it out. I mean, we're in episode uh, eight now, I think this is. Uh, eight or nine, uh, you think I'd figure out the quickest way to get places, but, you know, okay. <laughs> Although, realistically, this is sort of the quickest way to go. Um, oh, and I forgot to, I forgot to put my bail forks in the, in the travel position. Oh, well. Well, luckily there's no traffic, so. Like, if there was an entrance to this field right here, that would be perfect, because then I could just go straight across. With no way to uh, cut hedges besides going into giant giant's editor, uh, you know, I guess that's not going to happen. And I don't want to do that anyway. I don't want to. I don't want to change the map just to make it easier for me. You know, that's that doesn't. That's not really what I do. Um, unless a map is you know so completely unwieldy that it requires some changes, you know, just to make it functional. Uh, but I've never actually ran into that problem in a map. Uh, I've made some edits on maps, you know, just for my own, you know, sort of personal kind of making things easier for myself. But I've never, you know, had to do it. So, okay. So now, uh, let's see. Jump out here for a minute. Uh, I believe they go in here. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just unload them, uh, say, right here somewhere, and then just push them in there with the uh, with the bale forks. And um, I have the bale feed uh, mod installed, so I can, you know, shred the bales on the. Uh, by hand, instead of having to use a uh, mix wagon or anything. Oop, that was a little heavy. Okay. And uh, we'll unload them right here. There we go. I'll just pull it straight, hopefully. And, oh, and then we'll just pull this out of the way and uh, park it up somewhere real quick. I'm assuming I can see where I'm going and I'm crashing into anything. Uh, shred some of these bales into the into the cow shed. Uh, that silage is not quite done yet. Hmm. Kind of thought it would be done by now. I wonder how close to being done it is. Let's go find out. Once we get turned around here. I know that uh, David Oldfield had said that they had uh, changed the uh, oh, 64%. So it's it's getting there. Um, had changed the times uh, you know that stuff takes to grow and, and, and to uh, ferment and things like that. So you know, I was expecting it to take a little longer than normal, so. Now, can I grab the, whoops, easy, 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 easy. Now, if I can grab these top two, I think. Yep. And 
Just got to switch to the right. Uh, pull that up. Not that I need that, but I always pull it up anyway. And attach them. And then, ooh. I can tilt them up a little bit so I don't drag them all off with me. There we go. Uh, you know, this may not be the most realistic thing uh, in the world, but you know what? Um, it's just easier. You know, it's nice to be able to move two bales at once. It's nice to be able to do, you know, to be able to do stuff that, you know, that you would do in real life. I mean, I think I've seen, I've seen this done in real life, you know, moving two bales at once. So I don't think I have to jump out to do this. I don't think. Nope. Just stand next to one and right click. That's one. And we'll get this other one. This is really handy. Uh, you know, it, it means that you don't have to have a, um, a bale shredder, you know. So, you know, you still, if you don't have a mix station, you still need a mixed wagon to make mixed rations. Uh, but if you just want to feed your cow silage and grass and things, you know, for whatever reason, uh, you can certainly do it uh, this way. So uh, I think it's neat. You know, it's, a, it's another sort of realism feature, I think. Um, and for me, it's a cost-saving feature, too. It, it means that I don't have to go, you know, spend money on a bale shredder, um, you know, right now that I don't really need, so. Okay. Sometimes, Sometimes they're a little fiddly. Uh, there we go. And if I was paying attention, I would have seen that they were already attached. <laughs> uh, do swags. Um, a uh, a recent uh, member of the community and a very active one uh, posts all the time and posts some great comments. Um, you know, I I, I first uh, encountered Deuce Wags on Caravera 76's channel, and um, he was saying that he thought that I was doing you know certain things because it was a quiz. You know, uh, like you know I was I didn't know that stuff was you know uh, is this one? Oh, apparently we're full. Okay, when you don't get the little uh, spread bail icon anymore, that that way you know it's full. Okay, very good. Uh, so we'll just pick this one back up. Uh, and we're going to put these somewhere. Might as well do it while we're here because we won't be coming back uh, with any more since it is already full. So uh, we'll just put these in the shed, I guess. That would make the most sense. So let's uh, go ahead and get these parked up. And uh, That will do. We'll put straw on this side, I guess. Oh, and back out of them. Grab the rest of them. And get those stacked up. And then we can go uh, start picking up more and bringing them over to the mix station. So uh, the mix station holds 50,000 uh, liters of hay. So uh, that's about, well, 10 would be 40,000. So, uh, whoop, easy. So, you know, around 12 or so bales. So, so two trips uh, to, to fill that thing up, and then we can bring the rest around to the, um, now, let's see, around to the animals. Let's see if I can be slick here and grab all four of these at once. That's one good thing about this thing. Um, yep, as long as I can physically move them, they're heavy. They are heavy. Uh, probably a weight would not have gone amiss. One thing about where this, uh, where this front loader bracket is, it puts a lot of the weight kind of towards the the middle of the tractor, which is actually a good thing. So you can see the back wheels are spinning a little bit because um, they're not really fully in contact with the ground. But I wouldn't want to lift this too high, but it's okay like this. So, all right, back up a little bit and X. And there we go. Bales stacked. Very good. That's about the only way that I can stack bales. <laughs> Any other way, and I just, I struggle with it. So, um, you know, I, like I said, I, I am so you know, envious and, and, and I admire people who are very good at stacking bales. So, and I just don't do it enough. I, I just do not do it enough to make it, you know, to make myself any better at it. So, all right. Well, that's one, uh, one animal down, so that's good. Now we'll bring uh, two loads to the mix station and then uh, all we'll need is silage. Uh, once the silage comes up to, um, to ferment, then, uh, will be good, so. Go ahead and jump back in the cab here. I'm going to raise this up so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And, um, so by the time you guys see this, uh, the final episode of Bjornholm will have been, uh, will have gone live. 
um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed that series. I know I did. Uh, you know, 34 episodes on that uh, on that series, which is quite a bit. Um, you know, probably the most I've ever done, uh, actually, on any uh, farming simulator related thing I've ever done. Uh, just because I enjoyed it so much, the map was so much fun, and you know, and and, and everything was uh, it was so enjoyable that I I didn't want to uh, I didn't really want to stop doing it. So, uh, did I just get lost again? I did, didn't I? I want to. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> you wonder why I do so many cuts. Why I do so many cuts? Why I do so many, you know, uh, so many, um, you know, fast forwards and time lapses and things? Because I just, I swear, I get talking. I'm not paying attention. I get lost, and then next thing you know, I'm, you know, I'm five miles away from where I want to be. So now we're up here by the shop and up by the BGA. So we'll just turn down here now. Oh, get lost all the time. All the time. Oh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. That could have been worse. We could have ended up all the way on the other side of the map, I guess. Oh. I think what messes me up, too, is that a lot, you know, these fields only have one entrance, mostly. Uh, so, you know, you, you have to go all the way around to get into them and things. Uh, and that screws me up, you know, when I, like I want to go right there, but I can't just drive through the hedge. I mean, I can, obviously, but that's not, you know, that's not how you want to do it. So, at least that's not how I want to do it anyway, so. We have an hour and 46 minutes left on the rental, which is plenty of time. That'll be, that'll be plenty of time. Uh, it shouldn't take uh, nearly that long to get this all done. So, I hope, speaking of driving through the hedge. So, okay. And now we can go back to picking up hills again this down and pick up the last last of the bales on this field so I'm glad I decided to seed those other two fields through the hedge again um, just because uh, you know we got enough bales to make it whoops I didn't expect it to pick that one up we got enough bales to make it worth it you know um, so okay that's that now we'll just pick that up for now while we drive across here I watched a video uh, from a guy called Frugal. Uh, I'm sure you, most of you guys know who Frugal is. Uh, he is uh, apparently the number one simulation uh, channel on YouTube. I can see why, you know, when you consider this, what, what most people call simulations, you know, flight sim and things like that. Um, you know, he, he's definitely right up there. And I've been watching him for a while since, since uh, when I was playing Flight Simulator, that's where I, when I found him. But uh, anyway, he, uh, he had done a video uh, a few days ago. Uh, where he had gotten challenged by a member, he's in a, I guess he's part of a gaming group, I, I guess, um, where he had gotten challenged by a member of that group to um, do a hill climb in a set of Corso in the Cobra 427. Uh, if any of you guys have played that game, you, you probably know exactly how difficult that is. And do it in what he called the YouTube way, uh, which is, you know, commentary while you're doing something. Uh, the reason I'm telling this story is because sometimes, uh, you know, I'll watch these videos back when I'm editing them and things, and I'll realize that I'm kind of blathering on about stuff or I'm pausing, you know, I'll be in the middle of a sentence and I'll stop and then, you know, catch back up to it or not catch back up to it, depending, you know. Uh, and the reason that that happens is because it's, it's a lot more difficult than you'd think to focus on something and talk at the same time. I, it, it sounds easy, I know. You know, oh, well, you just play a game and you talk. Right. And to a point, it's like that. You know what I mean? And it doesn't sound that difficult, but it really is. There are times when I'm trying to remember something or I'm trying to focus on something, you know, like just like what I just did now, going completely around the, the wrong way, uh, you know, to get somewhere. Um, and that's because I'm trying to focus on doing whatever I'm doing in the game and talking at the same time. And it's not as easy as it, as it sounds. So I thought that was a neat video. I thought that was an interesting uh, interesting point he brought up, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, and that's that's really how it is, too. That is really sort of how it is. Uh, it's, it's very difficult sometimes to focus on what you're doing in the game and to, you know, kind of hold a, a conversation. Ugh, really? Oh. Although 90% of what I, when I screw up is just me being an idiot. So that's... <laughs> 
I just want to get to the mix station. <laughs> oh, I should set a course for this, just so I have the waypoints floating in the air to tell me how to get to places. Oh. You know, again, too, uh, you know, and I've said this before, I don't play this off screen. Um, I don't, you know. Well, I did do the bales off screen, you know. Um, but I don't drive around very much off screen, you know. So it's it's not like I'm spending hours and hours and hours on this map um, and learning, you know, where everything is, where all the where all the various, you know, points are and everything else. Uh, so you guys, unfortunately, kind of get to see me, you know, being a massive idiot and kind of, you know, you kind of, I have to come along with me for the ride, you know, as it were, so. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now I'm on the other side of where I want to be, so now I have to go all the way around. But, okay. Oh. Luckily, this map is pretty. Um, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah, we'll come back up here and finally get up to the pigs and uh, where the mix station is. So. a lot of lag right there. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not, I don't know what goes on, what's going on right in that spot that gives me so much lag. But <clears throat> I'm also still trying to figure out where it is I want to put my uh, my orchard. Um, you know what? It's really looking like it wants to be down here. Uh, there's a little open space down here. You know, it looks like that's kind of the the this spot right here, maybe. Uh, you know, kind of maybe where it might do the best. It's not too far from manure uh, with the pigs and the beef cattle down here. So, I think that's probably where it'll go. Uh, in an upcoming episode, I'll probably come down here and do all the site work, get all the trees cleared and the stumps out and everything, um, you know, and then we can uh, go from there. So, okay, now, mix station's on this side. So, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, let's see. My massive idiot. No, the mix station's on the other side. Okay. So. Get our bills all wet driving through the puddle. <laughs> all right, now, what's the chances of me really? Again, I know this is not how. Whoops, this is not how you would do this. Uh, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, let's see, straw would be the, the last one over here. Let's see if we can get any of these to actually fall in here. That would be cool. Um, you know, sort of save some. Uh, save some time having to move back and forth moving back and forth I mean so let's see if this will work I don't know if it will or not but we'll try it oh. probably my luck they'll just all uh, they'll just all fall all over the place and get in you know get in areas where they won't where they won't, uh, I won't be able to get to them. Let's try it. Uh, unload bales here. Let's see what happens. Oh, yep. And there you go. All right. Cool. Uh, you know, again, I know, not particularly realistic, but so let's go see. That was uh, 24,000 liters, I believe, that just went in there. So six times four. So, uh, hey, straw. Uh, 32,000 liters. I'm sorry, there's eight in there. 32,000 liters. So it's not going to take a full. It's not going to take a full load of... But you know what? We'll bring a full load down here anyway. Uh, and I'll just park a couple somewhere. Um, just to make sure we have them, you know? Uh, we'll go out this way this time. So. Yeah, so there's hay in there. And there's uh, there's straw. So now all we need is uh, silage. And we can be making mixed rations. So that's cool. Um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of the mix station. I used it a lot on Bjorn home. I had a, you know, the, the placeable mod when it first came out. Uh, and I had a big dairy, and I used it quite a bit. Um, I never did use it on Bjornholm, only because, I don't know, I I just, I never really needed to, you know what I mean? I didn't, it, it kind of seems like the cows don't eat quite as much uh, as as they used to. I have 200 cows on Bjornholm, and, um, you know, I don't, you know, I feed them every day, uh, but, 
I just, I'm not going through the material as fast as I guess I thought I would with that many cows, so. Uh, sip of coffee. Everybody knows coffee, the best YouTuber's best friend. Uh, especially if you want a scratchy voice like me. Oh, that farmer arm. It's really cool at first, like I said, and then after a while it just starts to get a little annoying. So. I should have gotten an od odometer mod when I started this map, and just been curious to see how many, I believe that's in, in kilometers, uh, that thing, see how many kilometers I've driven around this map already. You do so much driving in this map. I don't feel like I do this much driving on Bjornholm. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know that map's pretty well spread out too, so you know, obviously driving is part of the you know, part of the deal. It's part of being a farmer, but you know, you know, unless we come down through town here, I guess, why not? Our loud IH. That's a good alfalfa crop too. It's really tall. Oh, that's a that's a good crop right there. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that I can't mow it and bale it, you know, and use it uh, use it as an additional feed. That would be cool. Uh, but you know, okay, you know, it's not what the map creator you know had in mind for it. So, you know, if I knew anything about you know modding and, and things like that, I'm sure I could probably make the you know make the adjustment. Uh, to the map to make it so that I could bail uh, that stuff, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal to me, so. All right, hang on, now let's down a little bit, up uh, there, get that open, and pick up some more bales. a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. We're not going to be able to... We're going to have to come back one more trip for this. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. You know, we, like I said, we did get 37 bales, so... I think, obviously, fertilizing, you know, made a big difference in the yield. It made a big difference, you know, with the amount of straw that you get, so... Which is good, because we certainly need this straw. You know, everything needs straw. So, oh, yeah, we're going to get... Oh, perfect. Again, you know, if I had been paying attention, I would have seen that I, you know, would have had exactly the right amount of bales for this, you know, to fill this thing up. So, okay, very good. <laughs> very good. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to run these down to the mix station uh, and dump them in and, uh, and then stack whatever's left. Uh, no need for you guys to have to come with me every single time I make this trip. Um... You know, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and cut the video here, and I'll see you when we're on the other field picking up the bales on that one. See you in a bit, guys. So, the mix station is now full. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now we'll just uh, throw some uh, straw in the beef cattle shed here, and uh, in the pigs, and in the sh uh, lambs, and everybody will have straw. So, and then we just need silage, and uh, we can start getting into the animal business, which will be fun. Um, so... I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect this, leave that there, and get this straightened out. And uh, start shredding some straw into the pens. Probably as soon as I have silage, uh, I'm going to buy some dairy cows right off, uh, you know, right away. Uh, uh, tree, really? Tree? I suppose I could do it from inside the cab, but 
That wouldn't be me, would it? No. Um, oops. Got to remember to be on the right thing. Just to get the dairy cows going, just so we can get some manure. We're going to have a lot of manure on this map, which is good. And I have, you know, obviously have plans for it uh, with the various, you know, with the greenhouses and whatnot. So, uh, let's see. Not 100% certain where this goes. Let's see if it will tell us. Is this, is this where I need to be? Yep, there we go. So, sometimes you have to be really... And, of course, I left it on the fork, so, yeah. Uh, it works that way, too, um, you know, and... You just have to be close to it, so. I would imagine this is going to take very much, uh, simply because of the fact we don't have any animals, so. But we will, uh, we might as well use it and fill it up while we have it, so. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant next. Uh, I'm almost tempted to plant another straw crop just to, uh, you know, to really kind of load up on the straw, but I don't know that that's probably the best idea, so. Uh, is this full already? No way. One straw bale? Oh, because we don't have any animals, right? Oh, well, that stinks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where can we put them? Is there a shed? There's got to be a shed. Or can we put them right over here? Maybe? Uh, uh, yep. There's a straw bale right there. Oh, might as well put... If we can put bales in here, let's put some bales in here, I guess. They're indoors. They'll be, uh, They'll be safe here, so... Only a couple anyway, so not a big deal. As soon as I stop driving into the building. And then uh, we'll go back and get another load, bring them over to the pigs. Uh, they'll probably only take one as well. Uh, and then uh, we can stack them up, I guess, over there for the pigs. And then uh, bring some up to the lambs, so... case we're having a good lock helps. Stark just got a decent lock. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a little better than it looks. So. We set this thing. Let's pull those in two. There we go. Alright. And again, I'll uh, cut the video here. And I will drive up to the uh, to our other fields there, uh, nine and ten or eight and nine, I should say, and um, start picking up bales. And I'll see you uh, over across at the uh, beef farm, at the pig farm. I'm sorry. Okay. And we're back. Uh, we're over here on field nine. Uh, now picking up bales. Uh, I realized that I've been doing all this driving around uh, without my uh, beacons on, uh, or beacon in this case. Uh, I'm used to not having one on the John Deere, so <laughs> I forgot to turn it on, but I have rectified that, so. I was surprised, you know, as, as I keep saying, how many bales, especially off these little fields. These uh, fields 8 and 9 here are really small, and uh, I got, you know, I got more, I got, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bales, you know, off of off of this field, which is quite a bit, so that's good. Uh, that. That lets me know that I'm going to be able to have enough straw, uh, you know, to, to kind of keep up with all the animals and everything. Uh, even if I don't buy, you know, every field, you know, right off the bat. So, again, with the right off the bat. Maybe we should call this right off the bat farm, um, you know, or batshit crazy farm. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, BP. Having one of those days, I guess. Now, how do I... I know how I got in here. Is there a quicker way to get... No, there isn't, huh? Okay. Oh. No. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, jeez. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Before I have the same problem David Ofield had, and had to go, uh, have, had to send that to the shop to get repaired and end up having to use a trailer to stack all your bales. Nobody wants that. <laughs> I want to send out a big shout-out to David, too. Uh, for, you know, A, for for his patience and his, you know, his just awesomeness about, you know, me playing on this map and, and you know, and, 
and not probably, uh, what am I doing, besides driving through the hedge? Where's the entrance to this field on the other side? Okay. Um, you know, he's been, am I really stuck on this tree? Yeah. He's been uh, just fantastic, you know, uh, giving me suggestions and tips and things, and, you know, and, and, and generally just, you know, saying, hey, you know, good job, and, and you know, hope you're enjoying the map, which I very much am, um, you know. Everybody knows the way that I play. You know, I I am not the most realistic of players. And the funny thing is, is that I really do try to be. Um, and when I play off screen, I think it's something to do with with just the general sort of, you know, like I was talking about earlier, the, the level of focus that it requires to play this game um, and deliver commentary at the same time. So, you know, uh, and, I, and I do really try to play, you know, as realistically as I can. Oop. And we're full. Uh, okay. So, yep. So, I'm going to drive down to the uh, to the pigs, and I'll see you when we get there. And here we are at the pig farm now. Uh, might as well go ahead and unload these. And I'm sure, let's see. Uh, there's two stalls here. Two pig stalls, right? So, yep. Uh, two pig sheds, I should say. Uh, so, probably going to take two bales. <laughs> we'll, uh, and we'll stack the rest. So, and that's fine. This thing uh, get get lowered up. Uh, uh, put it over here, just so it's uh, you know out of the way. He says. That'll do. All right. Actually, let's grab two. And uh, that way, if it does only take one bale, then we only have to worry about, uh, you know, we can, grab, we can grab two, put one in each thing, <clears throat> and then just stack the other four somewhere else. Or the other six, I should say. If I could count two. Uh, am I in there all the way to be able to grab? Oh, oops. Be on the right thing. There we go. Do I have both of them? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Sometimes it's a little tricky with this thing to grab two at the same time. Uh, you know, it's not really designed for that. As long as you have all the, sp the tines in the bale, uh, you, can, you can usually get away with it. But for some reason, I can't grab this other one. Oh, that would be why. I'm way too far out. Way too far out. you got to have most of the... Yeah, see, that's not going to work. Oh, it might. It might if I can just muscle this in there without making a massive come on there we go there we go sometimes you just gotta you gotta lie to physics a little bit <laughs> no. <clears throat> you gotta use the farming simulator physics to your advantage no. uh, is there some reason why this isn't opening there it goes jeez Probably because the bales aren't really there when they're on the forks, you know? So, uh, spare bale. That's one. I don't, is it going to take another one? Nope. Okay. So that works out good, then. Uh, we can just bring the other one over to the other shed, and then we can just stack these up somewhere. And that will be the pigs, the dairy cows, and the beef cattle all taken care of. That just leaves the lambs. And that will be all the straw for everybody for right now, anyway. Then we can get back to the business of uh, of thinking about what we're going to put in these fields. So, all right, stop right here. Get this one spread. Oops, a little too close to it. This is a really neat mod. I really enjoy it. I like all these mods. I got to say, these script mods are easily my favorite mods of Farming Simulator 15. Uh, the BGA extension, the Bale extension. You know, the bale feed mod, all of them uh, by Upside Down, just, you know, awesome, awesome mods. Um, really make the game, you know, so much more immersive, so much more fun to play. So, now, uh, let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter where we put these. We do have to put them inside uh, with the bale extension mod, but now, try to get a better angle at it this time. There, BP. Oop.
That's not pretty. <laughs> I should have went up farther because the top two aren't really connected. But uh, let's let's see how this works out. You can see it's heavy. Um, <laughs> the back wheels of the tractor are kind of spinning around a little bit. We don't have that far to go, so it should be okay. Thank you, door. Uh, let's see. This the shed should all be the same, I would imagine. So this one should have the little area to stack. Yep, to stack stuff in. Very good. Oh. Uh, th these bales are heavy. This tractor is definitely feeling it. Oh, man. a little weight back here would not be a bad idea. The fact that I'm, you know, not very. F I didn't pick them up very far off the ground. Uh, helped too. You know, if I had picked those up any further, it would have been it would have been not good at all. So, oops. All right, very good. So one more trip, uh, and I think that will be it. Uh, and I realize this is pretty com pretty repetitive, uh, but again, it's one of those things you know that needed to be done. So, so uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hook up to this thing. I'll go back to the back to our last field there, pick up those bales, bring them up to the lambs, uh, <clears throat> and I'll cut the drive back to the field like I have been doing. Just so you guys don't have to sit through it, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> and here we are coming up to field eight finish off the last of these bales. Uh, luckily, you know, we're on the end of the map where the lambs are, so uh, it won't be too bad. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want that one. There we go. Uh, you know, so it shouldn't be... Uh, this won't be uh, that long of a trip. Oh, I'm just going to slow down here. Collect the last of these bales. I gotta say, I'm such a fan, the, 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 a fan of the field sizes. Uh, I'm a fan of not finishing sentences, too, in case you guys couldn't tell. Uh, you know, these field sizes are just about perfect. You know, it, big fields are fun, uh, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm becoming so sort of, you know, into the small fields and the odd-shaped fields. And, you know, even if they're not the most, you know, the easiest thing to, to use, you know, course player hired worker with, they're still just so much fun. Yep. So we got five bales off. Of it. Five bales there on the last trip. Very good. And now off to the lambs, which are not too far away. So. And then when the silage is done, we'll uh, we'll be able to start uh, start taking care of animals. So that'll be good. That's you know that's something I'm really looking forward to. Something I I really enjoy, um, as I've said, you know. So. And I really see this map being sort of that, sort of geared, you know, everything being geared towards taking care of the animals. So, you know, growing, obviously you're going to grow crops, you know, but growing, uh, you know, straw crops when we need them and, you know, things like that. So doing a lot of grass work, obviously. Uh, I think I'm going to go through the other ex the other entrance this time instead of going through the back way up over all those bridges and everything because I am going to dump a tractor in this, in this river eventually. I can just see it coming. <laughs> So I think I'll go in this way this time. Um, all right. um, easy. That could have been uh, that could have been executed better, but at least I didn't crash into the fence. So it's all that really matters. Okay. So same deal here. Uh, it's only going to take one. We'll just uh, we'll just put the rest somewhere else. So probably just leave them right in there. I would imagine. I think that makes uh, probably makes the most sense. So turn here, though. Thank you. And turn this way. And after one of BP's famous, you know, 40-point turns... <laughs> there pull this out of the way yeah. I gotta say I'm so impressed with the way uh, the way these bales handle now versus the way they used to uh, I was terrified to use this thing back in the day uh, because you know back in the day back in farming simulator 2013 uh, just because of the fact that you know you never know you never knew what it was gonna do whether it was gonna freak out and, you know spray them all over the place or you know uh, at least with this I have not had that problem I, they have all done 
exactly what they're supposed to do every time. So, um, you know, and I know some people have had problems with bales in this game. I haven't. Uh, I've, you know, I've moved quite a few bales, uh, you know, since I've been playing this game, and, and everything's gone pretty smooth, I have to say. Of course, now that I've said that, I will probably go straight to shit, but <laughs> I guess I've been lucky, so. All right. Here, and get it shredded up. And we'll stack the rest of them up in here. And that will be that. That will be the straw for all the animals, which is good. You know, at least, like I said, one more thing. So, get a little closer to it, I believe. There we go. There we go. Very good. It's cool how it, the, the, you can see the weight coming off the tractor when a bale disappears. So. One thing I, I want to remember to do, though, is uh, hit detach bales, because uh, obviously the bale fork doesn't know, you know, so it doesn't do it automatically. Whoops. All right, I'll just go ahead and s might as well just stack these up in there, I guess. Makes sense. A lot of storage up on this end, which is good. There's a lot of storage in all these farms. Uh, you know, which is good. You're going to need it. So, I would imagine that some, you know, down the line, we'll have we'll have a fair amount of equipment up here. So, there. We go. And let's see. Go ahead and grab these. Don't lift them too high because the tractor doesn't like it. <laughs> so, you know, and not being in four wheel drive or anything too. So. Oh, I apologize about all the sniffling, guys. The sinus is real bad today. Um, you know, it's uh, it was negative 14 this morning. So when I went out, uh, so yeah, <laughs> you know, clearly that kind of cold and dry is not particularly great for sinus. So, all right, there we go. Now let's see if I can maneuver my way out of here. All right, guys, so there you go. Uh, that's all the straw delivered now. Um, so we have straw in the dairy cattle. We have straw in the beef cattle. We have straw in the pigs. We have straw in the lambs, and we have a little extra straw in all those things as well. So that'll be good. Um, now all we need to do is wait for the silage to ferment, and we can uh, bring a whole bunch of that down to the mix station and get that uh get that going, get that making some mixed rations. Then we can bring mixed rations around everywhere and everybody will have everything they need. <laughs> uh, and we can start on animals. So I think in the next episode, uh, I don't know if that's going to be fermented or not. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably uh, do some site work on where our orchard's going to go down there. Uh, cut down some trees, stump them out and all that sort of thing. Won't buy anything just yet because um, obviously I don't have cows for manure or anything. Uh, I suppose I could plant some fruit trees. We'll see about that. Um, I really want to get the site work done. Uh, probably I will cultivate um, or fertilize uh, those fields off screen, uh, cultivate them off screen, and then we'll plant them. Uh, we'll decide what we're going to plant over there uh, in the next episode as well. So there you go, guys. hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I'm enjoying playing on this map. This map, as I say every time, is awesome. Uh, if you guys have not checked out this map, make sure you go to FSUK. Uh, and uh, check it out. And uh, if you see this map anywhere besides FSUK, uh, if I could just, you know, in, it kind of beseech you not to download it from anywhere else, uh, this is exclusively to FSUK or OEB's website. Um, you know, so if you download it from anywhere else, they stole it, you know. Um, you know, and everybody has their own opinion about that. But uh, FSUK is the exclusive uh, official site for Old Ridge Farm. Um, and if you haven't downloaded, please download it. It's awesome. You'll love it. So as always, guys, thanks so much for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stop the presses. Beep. God be Pete. Don't ever make that noise again. What the hell are you on about? It just dawned on me that, of course, I am a massive idiot. We all know this, right? And I was whining about the fact that I don't know how far I've driven. Well, you know what? If you look over here, it'll tell you. <laughs> I've driven 129 and a half miles on this map. Wow. Does that sound right? 
I guess it is. I drove almost 10 miles today. So there you go. So I just have to look over here to see where how many miles I've driven. 129.48 miles, almost 129 and a half miles. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. So I just wanted to share that with you guys while I remembered it. Just, it just came into my head just now as I was doing my little outro thing. Uh, so anyway, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that again. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys are all awesome. This is the Bipolar Prophet saying see you later. <laughs>